Welcome back, y'all. Everybody's nice having a blessed day. As y'all see, we're playing with the Christian Disciples School. We are playing Texas. They are four and three and ranked 19 in the nation. We are eight and zero, ranked number four in the nation. We're gonna nail this one out. And we're gonna start this off. Come on. Ivan Barry, 23 catches on the season. You can take a wide Let's go. Out of the game plan, but Jesse, with this guy, he sort of believes I'm him. I'm the dude. Yeah, and he gives defensive coordinators nightmares too. I swear, when you watch this guy's highlight tape, man, he scares you to death with his speed. He can take the top off a of defense. He can change the game, David, on any given play. And so, how many different ways can I continue to give him touches? Let's you know, go. They're, they're going to spread him out wide. I'd hand him the football. I throw it to him quick. I throw it to him deep. This is a playmaker that will be featured. Offense lines up for a first and ten from the forty-three. Pirouettes away from the defense. These guys have really performed at a high level in SEC play, and the task is to try to keep this groove going. Yeah, when you start the season like this, man, this is exactly what you drew up. Win your conference, be great in your conference, get to the conference championship. I'm not putting the cart before the horse, Palmer, but great start. No doubt, to win the SEC is a long road. You know about that, I know about that personally, and they just gotta take one game at a time. They've done an outstanding job of doing that this year. All right, here we go, third and two. Let's run this thing again. Mosley Jr. is in, our backup running back. Let's go, oh, that hole closed them quickly. Let's go, hang go. Let's go to our trusty plays right here, come on. wants to establish an aggressive identity. They'll go for it on fourth down. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Let's go, blank and chip. Well, they just big run, the big run the right there. Conversion, moving the chains easily. It's first down from the 37-yard line. Here comes the option. Now the pitch. Oh, what a move. Oh, I thought we had the juke to the outside, too, right there. The that would have been beautiful. From the 25-yard line, it's first and 10. They'll run the option. He'll pitch it. Here we go. Here we go. Third string running back in. Gets a huge run. The pitch was executed perfectly. I think throughout the week in practice, when they were game planning their opening script, I don't even know if they envisioned it going as well as it has. This has been beautiful. Nice balance. Really nice rhythm. It feels like everything they're dialing up here on their first drive of the game. Man, we couldn't get out there to get the block. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You know when you're playing against a defense of this caliber, you're going to have to have some sort of balance, right? You can't just drop back and throw it every single play. Nothing going on that last run. They're going to have to find another way to get it going and handing the ball. And they try Man, the of this I haven't played them for a while. The I forgot holding that keeps it across the ball. I did not let that they change that up. Every football game I've ever played, if you held X, you gave it off to the running back. There's a field goal chance right here, though, for us. There we go. Three nothing lead on Texas. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Oh, big hit. And the returner will be brought down. Here we go now. So the Texas Longhorns offense will take the field for the first time. And they seem to believe that they can take big plays away and man coverage by just locking him up in this matchup, David. Yeah, and it's hard to lock down a great wide receiver. Here we receiver. go, here we go. But a great defensive back versus a great wide receiver. We got a showdown. Yeah, let's be honest, David. Most let's defenses go. don't have a dude like that at quarterback that could do that in a game like this. But this matchup is unique, and it's going to really determine the outcome of the game. Takes a handoff. It's Baxter. Pushes ahead Come on, for third two. Seven, let's go. At the 17. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. And the defense makes the immediate Couldn't tackle. get over there fast enough. enough. For the first down. This crowd on, trying to make life miserable for this offense. 
Coming out on first down with the play fake. Oh, there's two. Okay, he's not free down, but there's two. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire, now on second down. Out of the gun to get Let's to go. The Third and 14, come on. on now when he loses four on the carry. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Looking for a man. It's yours. Let's go. Use your pick. Let's go. Get to the outside now. Let's go, man. We read that perfectly. Get a user pick. Let's melt some of this clock, too, right here with this. Extremely difficult. When I know it's a passing situation, I get to rush the passer and pin my ears back. I get to put more DBs on the field to drop back and really play pass. Oh, that's man, though. The offense was trying to force and trying to get that first down it makes the big mistake. And here comes the we might be able to take this in the second down. quarter after this play. Looking for a physical attack from the guy. Oh. They get him on the ground, yeah. but not we'll take, well, he that's good enough play, yeah. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. With the run on first and goal. A very All right, short second goal at the two-yard line. Let's go. Let's make this a 10 run or 10 point lead right here on them. We're about to run the ball. Four minutes and three seconds of time possession to their 57. You love to see that as a head coach. Starting off this quarter, close enough to smell the goal line. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He's going to have to set that one up. Ah, oh, we can't get there, really though. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. All man, good, all good. Touch passes, man. They're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as two Man, they just, they read that perfectly. And then it's all run right after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in these booths there. A tough, to tough stand right there. We made the field goal, though. So make it 6 defend. nothing. so it's still it's one so possession so game. Not what you like to see, but it is what it is, man. So I could have went for it on fourth goal, considering we already had a three-point lead, but take the points while we can. Goal, it is Texas, can so. Here we go, here we go. They've got it again on offense. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be Come right on. here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw it this drive. Oh, I try to hit stick and ran right past him. Can't be doing that. Come down. on now. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the back. Let's go. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. From the gun, running back on the move. There we Knocked go. Down at the 35. Third and four. Come on, defense. When you reach this point in the season, these types of games, top 25 matchups, really determine whether you're going to be a contender. Yeah, and really show what you're going to be the Where rest of the season. Where is underneath? Finish strong throughout the season. You're the first part of the season. Now we get can't to be the giving up a play season, like that. Getting a chance Nothing's to show what open. you're about so you can finish strong. It's a resume builder, no doubt about it. And really, there's been so much anticipation building up to this top 25 matchup. So which team can control their emotions, I think, goes a long way in who wins this one. Wow. Headed to the end zone. I switched to the and wrong person and ran the wrong angle. Come on. Man, we know football gets harder when you start to get in the red zone and the field shrinks. They got the lead by one now. We got to drive and get this back. Seeing the hole explode through, getting a long touchdown. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Come on, Claiborne. Inside his own ten, he'll try to help out their field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So they start this drive from inside their own 20 at the 19-yard line. Fires to the wideout. Complete to the right. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. 
You get a play like that, and you feel like you can go in and finish the deal. It'll be first and ten from just inside the 50. Yeah, the first down, down takes the two-minute warning. First down. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion. Oh, what a play by that defender right yeah, there. I thought we got it past him. Hand up and get the tip, get the deflection. Ball bounces up in the air, falls to the ground, incomplete pass. He'll toss it. And the fourth option there is to throw it in reverse, and that's what happened on, on that one. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking for the end zone. And oh, he has it in his hand. But it's beautiful play by the defender right there. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting we'll man coverage it. that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man to man, everybody on an island, everybody yep. won. They get yep. the incompletion now setting it for. Oh, let's go. finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion. Here we go. Melt offense. that clock. Melt that clock. Melt Guys, that clock. How much Come on. better does it feel if you go to that locker room with a lead? They have a chance to do it here. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. Let's go. We get in there. Take it to half. Let's get the lead. I want to go for two right here. Make it a touchdown game. You got the momentum. Taking it into halftime. Nice job by this offense. Executing that last drive. See if they can roll snake eyes in a good way and get the deuce. Oh, wow. I Make try to juke and our guy jukes and trips on the defender and falls. 12 to 7 lead, though. We'll take that. We'll take that. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A spirited environment there in Tuscaloosa. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. Here we go. Texas gets ball. Third quarter. 12 to 7 lead. Let's go. We need a defensive stop right here, big time, and then score. And he's coming out of the end zone. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. They start this third quarter, one possession game, and hoping to get an early drive going. This offense is ready, and that they're ready to take the field here we and see if they can get something route. established. They don't have to change everything and reinvent the wheel. They've had some successes in the first half, so let's get that continued here on the opening drive. Yeah, and I love getting that break at half to go talk with my coaches and pick my offensive coordinator's brain so I know exactly what I need. Oh, he drops it. Okay, I bet we're right on that. I get ball first. Threw his hands and incomplete. He normally makes that catch every time. It's second down. And he's got Let's go, third and four. The sideline. He'll come up a little short of the first down. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the key. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I like the decision where I understand. We need to stop Let's right get here. This football third four. Out. Let's get some positive yards and then get to third down. And we can still have pick a it all. situation now. Because we, we swat it away, make them punt it. But man, that pick right there been And the Longhorns will try to pin them back with the punt. Finally sending out a punter in this one. Got to make sure they earn their letter. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punch hover unit. Here we go. They'll try to put a drive together, starting from their own 12. From the shotgun, the inside give. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, 
Yep. Make the slant go. Let's go. Bring the slant from the outside. They go route from the inside, man. And they're either going to guard the slant or guard the go route. They guard the slant, and he's wide open for a touchdown. Let's go. felt like they can take advantage of this defense down the field throwing the football. They've got a lot of speed on the perimeter. And I feel like they've got some matchups. They 19 to 17 now. One -on -one. We it's needed that one. Right there. Let's go to the studio now. When we get ball, we'd be chewing that clock, too. Let's go. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Auburn is down, but they are not out of it. Not in Jordan Hare. One of the best home field advantages in all of college football. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Vanderbilt. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you'll look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit time. Now on first down from the 30. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Let's go. Use your pick again. Come on. Let's go. 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 Let
He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this We got to pick those game. off, man. can't be swatting half, those like that. Really They're punting it, though. Hope and Barry's going to get your own return end, on you're this You're expecting them to punt. Or they tap, basically tackle them with immediately. Right at the line. Here we go. The offense lining up for a first down play. Use the play fake, now to throw. Getting some heat. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. That's the last thing you want as an offense. A negative play. A sack on first down. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Let's go. Big play. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that. Big, big play ball. for us right there. The screen and create some lanes for their running back. Quarterback checking the play. He wants to throw. Good timing on the quick out. They make the stop, but barely, and they might need to regroup as we have come to the end of the third quarter. Twenty-six to seven, head into the fourth quarter. Let's go. Alabama is number one at eight and zero. Oh. Notre Dame is four and one, so is Ohio State, and they're ranked higher than us. That makes no sense. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if Whatever, any man. drama can be mustered. From the 47-yard line on first and ten, from the gun, he leaves it with the back. Oh, no, we fumbled it. Quickly gets back on top of okay, it he gets it back, though. And you know the standard is indisputable Here we go. video evidence, and the officials Melt the clock. We're keeping it going. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. And, you know, when we talk about great third-down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long, so that's a missed opportunity on that second down. We had open people right there. We can't get it to them. pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. They already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here we They'll go. Fourth and two, we're going for it. First down. Yep, we got it. Stay in bounds, stay in bounds. I'm the clock. Let's go. And they finally get to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. Touch pass on the run. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Well, and on these little push passes, here we go now. Here we go. Here we go. So You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. And David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. And you immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just two minute warning. The defense love to see it. Love see to see it. Just get him out of a spot. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. Let's go. They make the stop at the five. We get it first down. That's what we needed. Everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead, so you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and oh, keep the chains right moving. And they're doing that. To the this outside. has been a beautiful drive to watch. Offense continues to stay in a nice rhythm here late. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. How about the defender? Being a heat-seeking wow. missile. He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. And listen, it's tough. They it's were basically tough back there this is the almost top at 10 snap. defense against the run. You know they're physical. You know who they are. But you're not going to bat an eye. And you're going to challenge your guys, especially in the red zone, to be more physical, to, to be able to continue to run the football. I mean, I'm pressing really X to snap defense. it. I hate when it so does that. You just get stuck and it kind of forces you to get it. Back. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The pressure ramps up on third and goal. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. We get sacked. And here comes the heat, and they get home. And they we'll get call a timeout to get this field goal, extend the lead, timeout make it 29-7. to 7. Down to eight. 
And while they could run victory formation, you also have to think about padding those stats. Ooh, we barely made it. Barely, barely made it. And now the lead is extended over the front. That last field goal was huge. Now it takes a touchdown Here we to go. beat you and not a lot of time to get it if you cover the kickoff well. Oh, look at oh, Mr. Two Hands seconds left. taking All the right. squibber inside the third. Texas offense will take over first and ten. After this, it'll be a wrap. Here we go. Looking to go up top on first down. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught. I think that's that Isaiah Bond's first catch of the game, too. Strike zero here. To end the game, 29-7. to seven. Have We love to see it. Another win for the Don't SEC right there. We should for sure go to the SEC championship. Let's go. Five catches, 167 like yards, two touchdowns. I, like I didn't really feel he got the ball that much, but apparently he did. Let's go. Let them do their job. You just keep going on. It's not about the X's and the O's. It's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. This is why recruiting is so important in college football. They just had better players. More physical. They were faster, and it showed today. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast Well, y'all, with that being said, man, I hope everybody has a blessed day. Make sure that like and subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all in the next episode.